This is taken from Alice Through the Looking Glass by Charles Ludwig Deutschson, whose pen name was Lewis Carroll. Um, uh, and this is my favorite part of the book, and I do have it memorized. I don't need to read it, but I do read the introduction. The poor king looked puzzled and unhappy, and struggled with the pencil for some time without saying anything. But Alice was too strong for him, and at last he panted out, My dear, I really must get a thinner pencil. I can't manage this one a bit. It writes all manner of things that I don't intend. What manner of things, said the queen, looking over the book, in which Alice had put the white king is sliding down the poker. He's balanced very badly. That's not a memorandum of your feelings. There was a book lying near, the, near Alice on the table. And while she sat watching the white king, for she was still anxious about him, and had ink already to throw it over him in case he painted again, she turned over the leaves to find some part that she could read. For it was in some language I don't know, she said to herself. It was this. She puzzled over this for some time, but at last a bright thought struck her. Why, it's a looking glass book, of course. And if I hold it up to the glass, the words will go right through again. And this is where the Jabberwocky is revealed. Anyway, it goes on. The poem that it reads is Was brillig and the slidy tubes Did gyre and gimbal in the weeb O mimsy were the burgoobs And moomraths out the grave Beware my son the jabberwock The jaws that bite the clothes that catch Beware the jubjub bird and shun The frumious bandersnatch He took his vorpal sword in hand Long time the minx and poe sought and stopped he by the tum tum tree and stood a while and thought. And as in offish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. One two, one two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, O beamish boy. Kalu kalai o just day, he chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slathy hooves did gare and gimble in the weeb, O mimsy were the burgoobs, and moomraths out the grave. <laughs>